Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 7th of January. I'm James Spann. Got big changes coming up, but what a beautiful day today. Let's look at some of the Skycam shots. We'll start things off with the uh, Gadsden Skycam. Cloudless sky. Temperatures are in the 50s. There's a look right down the old mighty Tom Bigby River as seen from our sky cam at Demopolis. Way down south, a little cloudy at Gulf Shores, and uh, we note that they are replenishing the sand there at the public beach, something they typically do every year in January, getting ready for the spring and summer months. Yeah, those numbers look pretty good. That's about where we ought to be for this time of the year, mostly 50s up on the board. The cool spot, Decatur, they've got 49, Birmingham sitting at 55. And around the nation, it's awfully cold in the west, but elsewhere, uh, temperatures are starting to climb. And uh, much of the eastern half of the nation will enjoy a big January thaw over the next seven days, but don't get used to it. We all know the cold air is coming back. Watch warning map is pretty quiet around the nation. High wind watch for parts of South Dakota. Some winter weather problems back in the northwest, and that's about it. And there's a little football game tonight in Miami that you might be interested in. Thought we'd check the radar, and uh, things are pretty quiet uh, down in Miami and South Florida. Again, the chance of a shower during the Alabama-Notre Dame game tonight is only in the 10 to 20% bracket, kind of like the isolated afternoon showers we have here. Uh, about 75 at kickoff. Doesn't that sound good? All right, uh, got this big upper low that's uh, back in the southwest in fact, it's actually over northern Mexico, near the northern tip of the Gulf of California. That'll be coming out, producing a variety of inclement weather in coming days. Uh, one issue is severe weather possibilities. This is the day two severe weather outlook. That's for much of South Texas, basically from San Antonio south. And on day three, which is uh, Wednesday, a slight risk of severe weather over much of southeast Texas and Louisiana. And there's no formal risk beyond that. We might see some strong storms here Thursday evening, but for now, SPC has not put out a formal risk. But boy, what a soaking rain. Look at that. This is rain for the next seven days. This carries us through Monday evening of next week. How about seven inches? Not too far from Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, 6.3 inches south of Monroe, Louisiana. And here in our state, the amounts taper off from about two and a half inches around the shoals down to uh, uh, one half inch at Dothan. And it's going to be very warm and unsettled uh, beginning Wednesday here. Let's take a look at the setup here. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And uh, this is at 500 millibars. Big upper low is southwest of El Paso. And, and again, we pointed this out. You know, until that thing really gets back in the American upper air network, uh, the, the there still might be some inconsistencies in modeling here, but down at the surface, uh, we'll be dry, but clouds will increase. The sky becomes cloudy tomorrow. The high should be around 60, but we stay dry. Rain breaks out over Texas. Wednesday, uh, the trough is on the Rio Grande. Down below that, a warm front is pushing north through Alabama. In advance of that surface low that's uh, near Austin, Texas, and that should bring a batch of showers north of that front, uh, severe weather, not expected with that. Just uh, maybe a heavy downpour, but uh, certainly a showery day on Wednesday. Wet at times with highs in the 60s. Thursday, the upper system is continuing to lift north. Note that big 591 upper high that's parked over the Bahamas. And uh, that's going to keep the, the core of the dynamics a little north and west of Alabama, thank goodness. Down below that, at the surface, we've got a 1,005 millibar low at Wichita. This is Thursday at noon local time with a trailing batch of showers and storms down through West Tennessee and Mississippi kind of creeping in here. And then Thursday night at midnight, just we, the showers are dying as the upper support lifts and pulls away. So there might be a brief window for some strong storms Thursday evening. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the severe weather parameters. First off, this is the projected instability, the lifted index, where you see the green. That means the air is unstable. The lifted index is uh, in negative territory. And this is valid at 6 o'clock local time Thursday evening. And the numbers aren't that impressive. Uh, you really want to see those yellow shades where it's uh, minus 4 or lower uh, to really be a classic severe weather setup. So marginal instabilities, which is what you expect in 
uh, January here. The better shear values are north of here, so it's kind of out of phase. The, the really good uh, low-level shear is maxed out around the Ohio River with the amounts, you know, they're, they're sufficient over north Alabama for some maybe uh, organized updrafts. And again, we note uh, very high precipitable water values coming up from the south. Uh, uh, that moist air is going to kind of hang in here, and it's going to be awfully humid. So again, uh, you know, in terms of severe weather, I think the main threat, northwest Alabama, late Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, kind of a narrow window up there and not a major threat, but something to watch. And then Friday, uh, the main upper system is long gone. The cold front dies out somewhere uh, near Interstate 59. And uh, Friday would be a day that's kind of showery and very warm. Boy, those thickness values would suggest a high in the mid-70s. The GFS is printing 75 on Friday. And we'll be in the low 70s on Thursday. So how about that for a January thaw? Yeah, but look at the cold air in the west. Let's look at Saturday. Big, deep, cold trough uh, back in the uh, uh, western states. A warm ridge over the South Atlantic coast. The cold front is approaching this weekend. Uh, this is midday Saturday, and you can see it's very cold. A 1034 millibar high over the Dakotas. A band of showers, maybe some thunder around Memphis down to Houston. Uh, but if this is right, Saturday would be very warm. Again, mid-70s. The chance of a shower or two, but not, not, not a washout. And really the same thing Sunday. That front just kind of stalls out over there around Memphis. If this is right, there could be some big flooding issues around the Mid-South, around Memphis. But Sunday here would be very warm. A chance of showers. The high, low 70s, something like that. And then a week from today, or I'm sorry, this is Sunday night uh, is the weekend wraps up. Uh, late night on the 13th. The band of showers finally passes through here. And now this is Monday, a week from today on the 14th. The front is on by. We start to turn colder. Uh, after being in the 70s for several days, the highs will probably drop into the 50-degree uh, range on Monday. And that'll be a big difference. Parts of North Alabama could be in the 40s all day. And we'll kind of go through the uh, week. This is uh, Tuesday, the 15th. Another impulse comes along with another chance of rain. And again, on the northern flank of that, up there in Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, somebody might have some icing problems. Uh, not down here, but up there. But that would be a cold rain. And then on the 16th, it starts to turn sharply colder. That suggests maybe a chance of snow flurries coming in in the cold air. And then on January 17th, this is Thursday of you know next week, very cold trough over the east, and it is very cold. The 1042 high over Minnesota and the Dakotas sending down really cold air coming over a snowpack. So that's why we say don't get used to the January thaw, you know. And then on the 22nd, interesting little storm, uh, you know. But this is pure voodoo. But there could be some issues in the northern flank of that if by chance this happened to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs> <laughs>